So I say, Leo, Nico, kuwa KRG, the Don Monyewe, the richest, one of the richest musicians we have in Kenya. Leo, Not one kusu. of the richest. Unaribu, the richest and the only one that's going to be there for the next 50 years. Hakuta wai kuwa na msani mwingine yako na pesa kama mi atoke wapi. Atoke wapi. Atapitia wapi. Na nini siwezi wa watini wa lipite. Hili ya kichwa hii ni kukonayo hapa. Anda wapeleka mbio pa kwa hame. Watitabidi waende huko Kongo. Watafute pali ya kuna watu kwa na pesa kama Kongo, Rwanda, Tanzania. Kuizo mainchi kidogo kidogo. Ndwa waende wakafanya investment za huko. Hapa mm. ni mimi nataka ni control industry for 50 years paka mimi nifike miaka kama 70 80 ndo niwache alafu mm. ninawache ule kijana wangu mdogo tena waendeshe tena kama miaka 50 ah inaitwa confidence inaitwa confidence so ladies and gentlemen huyu ni KRG alafu tena was unajua sasa wengine wanasema arrogance yeah. wasichanganyishe yeah. confidence na arrogance hiyo ni confidence kwa sababu ile kitu tunasema ni kitu tunajua unajua eh sio si arrogance mm. you was tafautisha unajua hiyo wanasema anga tena nimekuwa mu arrogant wanasema umekuwa mu arrogant eh is being confident hiyo ni ni confidence juu unajua kenye nafanya mm. eh sawa sawa so today ni birthday KRG the don nataka tu atuambie how old is he turning because pale kwa mtandao watu wanasema oh anadanganya anadanganya so acha tumsikize KRG the don how old are you turning right now Yes. I am not turning, I'm already 31. Because yes. I turned 31, so I sit down. I'm going to say that 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 i am going to so what's the secret of being techno. Secret ni kuwa mhm na maisha. Every day lazima ni come up na new ideas. Nime achieve this much. What can I achieve tomorrow? Na hustle kama mtu hajawahi kuwa na anything. Una get? Kuna hata gari zingine kama hii ukiangalia kule mpa moyo ni kama 6 months, 6 7 months. Ana hata mguu imeisha pressure hata kuna mtu anachunga. Kwa sababu Hii ni gari nyaa, kuna na wanaume wengi hii dream car yao, lakini hiyo ilikuwa dream car yangu hiyo siku. Sasa nisha achieve, mm. ninaenda kwa next. Mm-hmm. Sasa mimi siridhiki na maisha. Mm-hmm. So tunaenda ni kupambana na maisha. Leo level, yani mina wambia kila siku bei yangu inapanda, ni kama bitcoin. Napanda daily. Hairudi nyuma, mm-hmm. inaenda tu. Hakuna reverse gear. Hakuna reverse. Kila mm-hmm. siku tunaenda mbele. Kwa sababu hakili pia, mm-hmm. inapigia kazi kabisa, inanguruma kama generator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, kuna pale wanasema hii peso kuna yo pale, kuna hii kolabo wanasema ufanya na conscience. Mm-hmm. How much did you pay for the kolabo? Uh, walai bila is like kutuwa yo information sa hii, mm-hmm. lakini soon baada ngoma iko tayari, video iko tayari, mm-hmm. tukuja niwambi yo story yote, jisasa nikiwape yo content sa hii, sinuona kipindi takwe mechoneka. Yeah, takwe mechoneka. Eh, nandi hapo maadui watahanda kunipiga vitu. <laughs> <laughs> How was it working with somebody like conscience? Oh, I've never seen, you know, Koshi is a big superstar, he's an international star. Mm. And uh, he's been in the game for the longest time. Mimi ni miyumjua kama, kama 12, 12, 13 years. Mm-hmm. So, na ye ni mtu wanya me hustle from, yani, mm. story yangu na yake ni, ni all, similar, ni almost the same kwa babu. I mean, hustle from the scratch, and then people didn't believe in his music. Actually, first place conscience kuwake to the Ngoma kwa stage ilikuwanga in Japan. Mm-hmm. Nani brother ke dela salko mempeleka. Mm-hmm. So, unawana ni same thing na mimi kuna wasa wana wana ngao kerejia kuna pisa mingi hafai kupanya musiki. Mm-hmm. But they don't see the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing music mm-hmm. for Kenyans only. I'm doing music for the, for the whole world. International. Yes. So... Nikisema nafanya mziki international, then that means the amount of money I'm, I'm looking at mm. to earn from the music is too much money. Mm-hmm. You understand? So it's way too much money than what I have right now. So I know if I put in the work in the next couple of years, I'll be getting paid so much money via music alone, streams and vitu zingine. Mm-hmm. So kama saizi ni kama wate 4 5 billion, so you after kama 3 5 billion. You need yako saizi. Yes, I. So kama baade ya... Uh, Kama baada ya kama 5 years, sinuona itakuwa ni mifika kama 12, 13 billion. Mm-hmm. Nani ataki pesa? So, nani ataki pesa? Yes. So, mm-hmm. Kenya, sunajua wako pali kwa mtandao, mm-hmm. they see your flash life. Mm-hmm. Mingeko kwa compound yako, you have a big mansion hapo, hivyo na wano kuna gari hapo Range Rover. 
So, if I may ask you, what's the source of your income? I'm a source of your wealth. Okay, let me say, India is not India is not India is not Yani entertainment ni kisema entertainment ni nasema ni kona record label, mm-hmm. ni kona entertainment joints, mm-hmm. ni kwa music itself, mm-hmm. yani mampo ni mingi mze. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Juzi tuliona palo li fungua new club. Yes. Na kesa Nairobi sana. Kabisa, the best and the best in Nairobi sa hii. Mm. Mm. How do you feel like now owning a club? It's a good thing kwa sababu, at least na watu relate na watu siku hizi sana tunapoana tunapiga gumzo 1 to 1 tu unapata idea zao and then ile club ile ni hype pia ilikuwa sawa na tukafika US before tam send home na kuja kwanza kasavera na bag yake hata kuna best yangu mmoja yuko hapo nyuma alitoka yeye juzi jamani akakuja direct na bag yake hapo na range rover yake amepaka hapo akakuja kwanza kwa club kupiga kupiga drink zake mbili tatu kujibamba na mapisi zake ndio aina nyumbani akalala. Mm-hmm. So yaman, yeah, so at least ni place nimejenga ni social place wasawa na connect. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, most of my friends are business people so when they get together mm-hmm. they do great things together. Mm-hmm. Una get so and um, I am napenda napenda watu wako connect kufanya biashara because my nasema yani ile kitu mimi napenda sana kuona ni kila mtu akiwa successful. Mm-hmm. Una get sitaki kuona mtu anateseka mtu anakosa anakosa chakula ama anakuwa mgonjwa anapata kutibiwa yani maisha iko ngumu kwa wanadamu kwa sababu the world is enough to feed all of us na tukua comfortable kwa sababu ukiangalia hata hapa nje ya kwangu si unaona hapo nje kuna kiwanja karibu 60 70 acres yeah, yeah, yeah. mtu anaishi hapo mm. na hiyo eka moja hapo ni karibu milioni kama milioni 70 80 eka, eka moja sasa kukiwa na matajiri wengine kumi wakuja kununua hiyo kiwanja sasa unatakuwa na majirani wengi So, okay now tumeanza the new year. Mm-hmm. Tumeona pale umepiga Edgobare mangumi sana mpaka pigi yake maenda watu wameku. What, what's the beef between you and Edgobare? Can you address it to me? So yeah yeah, mimi sina kitu yote ya kuhusu huyo mtu. Mm-hmm. Ule mtu alikuwa na tunajua ule ma, ule ni mtu ni mama tu. Ni vile tu avangi skirt. Edgar Obare. Eh ni mama Address kabisa. Edgar Obare we ni mama kabisa. Mm-hmm. Na mimi takununulia kitenge maana yake ile 5 million nilikupatia ukakataa kukuja kuchukua miongopo kama kuna mtu unaweza tuma kwa sababu uwezi tuma address yako mimi takushonea kitenge moja safi kabisa mpaka nikutengenezee mask ya kitenge kutengenezee mobile na wamama wenzako mkitudakua wanaume kama sisi ambao tunajipambania na maisha yetu mm. e, tunangangana kila siku tunaamka tunafanya mambo zetu takunulia vitenge kabisa mingi wewe kibe yani mtu yote yule ana kazi kazi yake ni kuongelea wanaume wenzake washonea vitenge aniwanulia paka dera ya kulala. <laughs> na wakilala wasisikie tu vitu na wanulia paka dera. Mm-hmm. So we are, in, we are the new, new year 2022. Mm-hmm. Eh, last year tunajua kwa you know love life there are mm-hmm. so many things that happen. Mm-hmm. Wife ukam figure left. Mm-hmm. So this new year. Yes. Plan yako in your love life ni plan aje. Ah uh, mapenzi. Mm-hmm. Ndio mapenzi niko na mapenzi mingi sana hii dunia. Mm. Mapenzi yani wasichana wananipenda too much. Hata ule mama shida yetu ilikuwa kubwa watu wananipenda too much paka zingine nilikuwa natoka 2 3 months niko mm. busy na 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 yani ninasambaza mapenzi. Si eti kulala na wasichana mm. lakini as in sharing love kwa sababu if I come to you you don't want to leave your house I can say mm. tukae siku mbili tatu nienda Dubai na kana rafiki zangu. Unajua? Mm-hmm. So ya kuwa alafu rafiki zangu wengine pia akini meeting they don't want to let me go. So vinakuwa hata kurudi nyumbani sometimes inakuwa tricky kwa sababu labda nime spend time mingi nje imefika late and I need to work in the morning so since where I am it's comfortable I can sleep. Uh, Nisangina najipana nimeenda siku mbili tatu kujaribu nyumbani but ni pale niko niko comfortable nime change ni biashara zinaendelea lakini ule mtu wangu labda na feel suspend so much time with them than I'm supposed to be because I'm busy 
doing all those things unaona so mambo ya mapenzi kwa saa hii 2022 2022 alai be life unyo ni tunatuletea kwa kujua kuna mshikaji mambo ya wasichana imenishinda Nairobi mm. lakini kipana msana mzuri mm. uh, mbona ninajua mimi napenda mtu nikipenda nimependa si mimi sidanganyi nikikupenda mm. mm. hata dunia ikiwa against sisi na mimi na wewe mm. uh, mimi naambia tu kuweni mm. <laughs> mimi nafanya kila kitu hadharani. Mm. Eh, mimi naambianga watu mimi siifanya. Mm-hmm. Kama mimi nimependa kitu mimi nakula jia yeah, mesh. Kila mtu aone nakula hii mm. hii kitu kama imewashwa taa. Eh kama muache taa na muache <laughs> na ni sasaba mchana. Lakini kama nikichukia mm. ah uwezi niona hapo tena. So uh, mm. tukikuwa tumemaintain tu hapo role mm-hmm. your ex wife. Yes. Mme kuna agreement mmeweka mna co-parent mnasikizana kama mmesha solve issue zenu so mko sawa sai kumongelea vibaya jo niona nikimongelea vibaya waje ule mama ninamjua muda mrefu na ayuko sawa so sitaki kumongelea niendelea kumongezea mzigo kwa kichwa already yako na enough to deal with unajua so sije nitamwambia nini lakini mimi niko sawa watoto wangu wako sawa si tu yani My family is okay. So wewe ndio uko na watoto ama alienda na watoto? Ah watu kwa sababu naishi hapa. So wewe ndio uko na watoto. Ni vile tu umekuja leti. Ulitoka tu hapa sasa hivi ukaenda shuleni. Mm. Mm. So you are the one who is taking care of the kids. Yes, yes, yes. So that's how you agreed ama ako agree kuhusu ni watoto si wangu. It is true. Yes. But even yeye yeah, pia yeah, ni mzazi. Lakini sasa yeye yeah, hayo yeah, hana haja na watoto. Hana haja na watoto. Yes. Ushaona hata kwa page yake ameposta watoto. Instagram rota basi pale hata kuona kulipiwa rent mm. Instagram achaja hiyo achaja hiyo posa sasa so, yanaja na watu sasa anataka kwenda disco yeah so even the my shake so that's KRG the, the don for you so bro mm. leo ni birthday yako yes na siku nataka kutu pesa hapa na chopa eh hata nilikuwa na pilot na mimi nipiga sasa hii nikamwambia ngoja kidogo nafanya interview so chopa yako tegemea utanunua lini unaona kwa ukuta hii ukuta iko nyuma yetu hii eh yeah. um, inshallah mm. before 2023 jaisha mm. ama 2022 labda kwa kwa kufanyika vizuri nataka mm. kubomoa hii ukuta kutoka hapa huko barabara huko mhm ile kopa naweza afford hiyo sio pesa mingi ni milioni mbili tu ya dola si ni kweli 200 million hiyo ni kitu kidogo sasa shida ni mahali ndaweka oh. sasa unajua mimi naye siwezi hama inaitwa hama Yes. Sasa hakuna mahali mimi naweka helicopter yangu. Sasa siwezi na unajua sasa hii ni nyumba ya mtu. Anaishi huko na uko na nyumba kama sita Nairobi baba. Lakini hakuna mahali naweza toshea. Unajua mm. lazima uangalie kwa sababu kama waya zimepita ama miti. Lazima unajua helicopter hapana baiskile tunaweza kulalisha kwa kona hizi. Uwezi lalisha kwa kona. Sasa lazima inakuja inaangalia mahali yani landing na take off yake. Unajua landing inaweza kushuka lakini take off inaenda mbele kidogo hivi kwa hiyo lazima uangalie dimension sasa ile kitu iko lazima nitafute kwanza pesa ya kuonga mwenye hiyo nyumba ninunue hiyo kiwanja more than ile pesa ndio nikimpa ile offer anaenda kama stima akisikia tu offer ile nimeweka kwa meza hata aniulizi document ni watu atatuambia tu enda kwa wakili nimeenda holiday kwanza ni kule 5% nikifikiria mahali ndio nafunua nyingine ni alafu mimi ni tengeneza hii nilete tinga tinga ibomoe mpaka huko mwisho basi tujenge hapo mahali yetu ya football na hanga tutachora kabisa hivi na tuweke taa kabisa usiku ina illuminate pilot wangu pia zimeangusha <laughs> so what's your future plans 2022 una pango kuna mpango gani za kufanyia because this new year yeah sasa hii plan iko na mingi plan iko na mingi kuna muziki mpi natoka leo tayari shatoka audio na ngoja na bogi genje na dj lighter mm-hmm. and then uh, before tu wish hii mwezi tena labda nitakuwa nimetoa ngoma nyingine mm-hmm. and then uh, Uh, kuna kaka kijana pia nimeanza kuona kana nichezea cheze nimekaona tu kwa comment zangu hapo mm. sijui kama ni kuonyesha kidogo anaitwa nani anaitwa kaka kijana tu kama Masai mm. unajua wa Masai ni watu wangu tangu zamani lakini kana nichezea acha nikuonyeshe um iko kama Masai kingine aka kana unaona kama Masai kaitwa Dufla Dufla Diligon Dufla unaona hiyo kitu ndugu yangu mm iko kama sasa kaitwa Dufla Dilgon kana semet kana jua dance alikunishinda mm. sijui nini alikuwa anasema yeye angepewa chance na conscience angetoa ngoma kali sana lakini silimpa chance ya kupigwa picha mm. oh you are the one who gave him chance si ndio 
Kwani anaweza atoa wapi kwanza? What are your plans bro? Nataka ni muonyeshe kwanza huyo niko na kijana mmoja wa kufunza muziki anaitwa Dufla ni mfunze muziki hii mwaka. Awache kuimba hizo wimbo anaimba za Kimasai. Najua anaimbanga wimbo za Kimasai na nataka tuchanze kwa disco. Tuna nesi ni huko Narok na huko Samburu. Ukitaka kuimbia wa Kenya wote una change maneno, unaimba kizungu ama Kiswahili. Sasa Uh, kuna huyo pia nataka kufunza muziki alafu niko na plans kuna nataka kusaidia vijana wengi kwa muziki ma upcoming wengi nataka ni wapoduce fast cash music group so nisha ongea na management yangu nisha panga na hao wote nikimaliza tu hii pressure ya birthday na nini na nini najua by the time nafika mwezi wa pili tutakuwa tushaanza hiyo mambo ya production ya wasanii so tutakuwa na wasanii wengi sana kuna kitu mpya inakuja kaongoje tu trail launch Alafu apart from that pia niko na biashara kama mbili nafaa ku launch before March. Very big business. Tutakuwa tutengeza karibu milioni 50 kwa kwa mwezi. Mm-hmm. Eh, kwa kila kampuni. So watch out for that also nitakuwa na nawaambia zinaitwaaje na zinafanya nini na nini na nini ndio plan. Muziki naye plan ya muziki muta dance sana. Yaani wewe jitayarishe tu. Kila ukiniona unajua tu ni ku dance. Hello, niko kwa interview kidogo. Haya. Uh-huh. Yes. So can you tell us exclusively every month? Every month. Ah, every month. Eh, eh, pesa ni mingi ndugu yangu. Every month. Every month na ingeza pesa mingi sana. Sasa nikuambia watu watakupata hata tatu. <laughs> watu wengine watajinyonga bwana. Na vile hali ni ngumu nasikia watu wanasema hata wajue atakula nini na ni January tena waanze kuambia na tengeneza pesa ngapi. Usiwe hivi hiyo siri bwana watajiu bwana. Mm-hmm. So tuko kwa elections this 2022. Upangi mm-hmm. uh, kusimama please wacha kuitu nikitia uitu mheshimiwa. Mm-hmm. Mbona hiyo vitu mimi nifurahishi. Mm-hmm. Why? Unajua ukikuwa mheshimiwa umeleta mm-hmm. shida kwa maisha yako. Kwa sababu ukikuwa mbunge kwanza ujue umefungua kitu kama politician kwa nyumba yako. Kwa sababu mtu yote akipata shida hapo mtu wa kwanza kufikiria ni mbunge yangu. Mm-hmm. Anakuja hapo kwa report hapo kitu ikiibiwa kwa nyumba ya mtu wakienda polisi waishikosa msaada wanakuja ku report kwa mbunge yao pesa ikiibiwa ya CDF mtu wa kwanza ukamatwa ni mbunge yao ah mimi vitu kama hiyo mimi nataka kukaa na amani niko na pesa mingi unajua wengine wanaenda kwa siasa ndio wapate pesa mimi sitaki pesa ya mtu na sitaki kusumbuliwa na watu nataka nisaidie ule mtu mimi nataka kusaidia si waje sasa watu wa constituency yako lazima uwasaidie wewe you like it or not you in right yao sasa vitu kama hiyo mimi sitaki. Siasa mimi nakaa mbali sana na siasa. Sitaki siasa. Lakini wana siasa wengi ni rafiki zangu. Rafiki yako one of your best friends the long. Mm. Unasimama pale. Huko paka tusumbue watu kabisa huko Langata tutasumbua kabisa kabisa hata mimi nataka ninunue nyumba Langata. Mm. Ndio nilikuwa naamka hapo Langata. Mm. Asubuhi tunaingia hapo Langata ya chini. Mm. Tunasumbua watu tunaingia paka line saba tunarudi tena. Mm. Tun, yaani kwa tuachokeshe kabisa Mm. Uh, ndio akikuwa mbunge mm. anaweza nisaidie ni, ni save hiyo pesa yenye ningenua hiyo kiwanja naweza nikapake helicopter huko langata <laughs> for free lab <laughs> so mm. tuliona pale rikomondi yamekuwa sipiga ni ya muziki wa Kenya mm. so far tunaona kama ni wanaweza win ama it's just a dream eh hiyo vita ni vita mzuri na pia mimi na support fully ya 75% local content mm. consumption ikwe local content 75%. Hata ukienda kwa club yangu, mm. ma DJ wote wale wanacheza anga hapo. Wanakuambia mimi pool yangu ni kuwa cheza local content. Ukigusa kidogo Nigeria, mm. ugusa tu mbili tatu mm. zile zime hit kabisa. Usilete hapo ma upcoming ya Nigeria unatuwekea hapo unatuwekea aje. Mm. Gusa upcoming ya Kenya. Mm. Upcoming ya Nigeria kae huko. Unagusa wale wame overheat huko paka wa mm. kidogo mbili tatu Tanzania usituwekea hapa hapana Tanzania. Mbili tatu mm. Uganda mbili tatu, Amerika mbili tatu, lakini muziki ya Kenya ndo mm. ndio at least pia sisi vijana wa Kenya pia wapendwe nyumbani wa appreciate kwa sababu wanajituma ni kazi yao hiyo pia wako na familia wako na watoto wa kulisha wako na yani muziki na employ watu wengi sana mm. producer mwenye ali shoot video wale ma video vixen mm. ni watu wengi sana wanategemea hiyo muziki ya mtu mmoja so ki support hiyo muziki huyo jamaa kiweza kufanya production nyingi na apate shows na aweze kulipa watu wote tunarudisha tena pesa nyumba. Mm-hmm. Alafu hiyo tutakuwa tumefukuza wale watu wa kutoka nje watu wamepata airplay hapa. Sasa wakitaka kuchezo hapa lazima pia wamwage pesa hapa ndani ya kufanya nini? 
advertisement pesa pia inaingia kwa nchi yetu nchi yetu sasa ukiangalia hivi unani anapata benefit ni sisi wenyewe na serikali yetu itapata pesa Maredo station zitapata pesa kwa sababu watakuwa na lipo pesa ku influence hizo wa muziki zao mbili tatu wenye tumekubali ingie mm. ya yeah, so tutakuwa pale mzuri kama wananchi wa Kenya tutatengeza pesa mingi na tutakuwa na heshima kwa sababu sasa mm. kila msanii bi imagine wasanii wote Kenya wangekuwa naishi kama mimi si wako naishi mzuri big house big house unakuwa na sasa ukikaa hapa hapa unapata fresh idea mm. unafikiria si tu mali umekuwa unasikia piki piki hata kama ulikuwa unataka kuingia melody mm. tena unasikia punda imepita hapo ai tena umegongwa na mkokoteni sasa hiyo ni maisha gani bwana unafa unaishi msanii unafa unaishi mahali hakuna kile unasikia sasa hizi mimi nasikia tu ndege zinafanya pipi zinaipata breeze unafikiria yani unakuwa na fresh new ideas sasa inakuwa hata yani creativity yako inakuwa is not influenced by something Yes, yeah, so inakuwa unafikiria from ya from within your body and the surround. Yeah. Sasa sasa unakuta sasa mwingine anaimba vitu hata ieleweki kwa sababu ya ile situation yenye yako. Umeget? So inakuwa tunaendelea kukandamiza industry yetu lakini tuki wasanii waki wakipata airplay wanaingiza pesa waishi mzuri sasa. Mungu akutuumba hii dunia si tuteseke ndugu yangu. Eh? Dunia ni kubwa bwana. Alitengeneza Africa peke yake sijui ni miles ngapi mwanzo paka mwisho what's your take on uh, what's your take on wasanii wenye wana support wana siasa wasanii wenye wana support wana siasa hata mimi kuna wana siasa ni support mm. kwa sababu ya nini you see their vision because mm. in every country you must have a government and you must have the head of the government mm. so if you see your agenda is aligning with a certain person in the political field you have to align yourself with them if your agenda and your your goals are the same mm. si mtakano hiyo mtu pale moja so kuna <coughs> kuna watu wanasema mm. you see like you you're mm. a public figure yes. you have a very big following exactly yes. ndio mhm msanii anakuja pale anakupatia like uh, let's say every month anakupatia like 50000 or even 100k yes. somebody like you and unajua anaweza kuwa anatoa even more yes unaona mm. but so please nauliza is uh, mm. if come on after that yes. hata kutaji kwa But yeah, see now, eh? you see wana sasa they are very kind ni gumu kwa elewa atakwambia hivi then kesho ana kasa naye sasa mimi mimi najua mimi hata vitu kama iweze ni apea because mimi huwezi kuja kwenye form aniko nini sasa wewe mwana siasa anikuja kunidanganya mimi nini kwa sababu Kenya wao unakuja ku implement yani unakuja kunidanganya one to one to already najua hiyo vipindi hiyo yote from the beginning to the end you understand So it's how I know you as a person. That is how I will support you as a person because hakuna mtu mwenye atakuja mimi na kuja kumsupport sijafanya research yake and then I have to know you on a personal level wewe ni mtu ina gani ukikuwa mtu kigeugeu siwezi ta deal na wewe siwezi ya chat na wewe afadhali ninyamaze tu kuliko ni kutunianza kupishana na wewe ndio nakumake kwa famous kupata na influence kwa hali yako so the only thing mean that you align na wale watu mimi ndawaacha watu wengi hii siasa ndachupiwa na wengi lakini wale watu ambao mimi ndajalai na hawajua mimi nimeona mbali kuliko mahali nyinyi mnataka mimi niona kwa sababu most of the people wanataka mahali pesa iko cash sahi cash uko na ngapi nikupigie kelele mimi sitaki pesa ya sahi pesa ya sahi mimi niko naye kukula sahi mpaka mimi nikufanye kwa hiyo pesa lakini najiulizaje mimi nikishaondoka watoto wangu ule mtu tutakuwa tumewaachia nchi atawanyang'anya ile niliwaachia ama atawachunga ama atawasaidia kuenda wapi lazima ujiulize hiyo maswali ile uko naye wewe mahali uko sahi labda wewe uko mzee umezisha za watu wako kadhaa mwana siasa fulani amekuja amekupa pesa umeuza kura yako umepatiana kwa ule mtu ambaye ni mkora kwa sababu alikuja na pesa lakini just know you have sold the future of your kids with peanuts hiyo ndio vitu ile misses kubali so lazima nikuwe na jo huyu mtu ni mtu wa ukweli akisema e amemaanisha e hapana sema e unamaanisha h hiyo biashara mimi huwezi nipata kwa hiyo biashara so mimi nda support wenye najua these people are truly for the people yes regardless of how they do their things or how they speak but the agenda is for the people that is who I will support okay mm. tukimalizia mm. last year tulikuwa na scandal kubwa sana pale tulikuwa na Paul na Diana B mm-hmm. wakaleta waka najua wakaleta najua yes wengine wako nasema ni cloud mm-hmm. wengine walikuwa nasema hii ni kitu ya ipai mm-hmm. what's your take on that 
uh, unajua uh, wale wote um, ni watu wanajuana unajua sasa mambo ya watu wenye wanajuana sana mimi wote nawajua lakini wale wanajuana zaidi una get Willie Paul and Willie Paul Diana na Bahati hawa mm. ni watu wanajuana zaidi sasa mimi nawajua wote na watu wananijua si ni kweli ni rafiki zangu tu si ndani sana lakini ile level sasa wale ndio wanaweza kutuambia ni nini lakini mimi naona ile sinema yao si mbaya iko sawa iko sawa eh bora tu wa Kenya it was just cloud si ni sinema yao watu wana kuanga tu wa credo ni chaje from way back course unajua hiyo maneno i know yeah. but you see the way Diana alikuja mm-hmm. i felt it was so personal because ukileta kitu kama rape mm-hmm. na you are dealing with a brand like the Paul mm-hmm. I don't think kama hiyo niweza kwani cloud. Sasa unajua mimi siwezi jua juu usikufuatilie mambo ya rap na nini na nini. Mm. Lakini unajua pia inchi hii mm. nchi yetu hapana hapana banana hapana banana republic. Mm. Iko na sheria zake. Kuna vitu hata ukikuwa na influence kiasi gani kuna vitu uwezi fanya. Hata ukikuwa na connection kiasi gani there are some things that you cannot do because this is an, a republic. Mm. This is Kenya the republic. Mm. Ni kweli. So kuna sheria zile wanaweza kuatilia wakajua hii huyu mtu amenidhulumu namna hii ama amenibia jina namna hii naweza msuu namna hii akanilipa hivi nyuma ni biashara inaweza fanyika kote so nitegemea bila wao wanataka kuchukua mstaili yao kama wanataka kuchukua cloud well and good tumemaliza mm-hmm. so back to birthday boy mm-hmm. leo na celebrate birthday yako yep. sisi kama SPM hapa tutakuambia happy birthday bro shukran shukran you've been a friend you've been one of the best people to me on a big last year mm-hmm. this year we expect more more from you and in leo hii mwaka sio nimewaambia ni bo ile ilikuwa semi final sasa hii ndio final ndio final eh tukijua sasa hizi na baki farasi ni ngapi farasi ni ngapi moja farasi ni ngapi moja inalipwa nani right <laughs> <laughs> Mimi industry ni yangu mm. hakuna tena mwingine. Hey. Kama iko mwingine anabisha akuje sasa hivi. Mm. Hey. Leo unaenda kuspend pesa ngapi kwa birthday yako? Walahi bila hii bute hii gari imejaa pesa. This Range Rover. Imejaa pesa edition. Eh uh, imejaa pesa hapo. Mm-hmm. So minimum mm. nataka to spend 5 million. Lakini maximum mimi sijui. Mm. So nikiona nime watu wamelewa mm kila kitu imefanyika na nimebaki nimetumia 3 million mimi nachukua 2 million tupe hivi kwa watu wa enjoy so what are you if you pick 5 million bora ifike 5 million eh yeah, so, lakini tunaweza mkikunywa kabisa nani amlevi yeah. tutaendelea kukunywa paka watu wa leo washito kutembea waambie hapa hivi party ni wapi leo wakuja party ni pale Kasavera uh-huh. iko pale Ngong Road mm. uh, alafu hata kuna kitu nataka niambie watu tell them mimi leo sijaenda kazi tangu ya asubuhi sifanyi leo kazi tuna sijavaa ta saa mm. sitaki pesa leo ile niko naye natumia mm. na kama iko mtu atakuja kwa baba yangu atumie pesa kunishinda mimi nampea namrudishia pesa yake na nampea mpaka sales zote nyenye tulikuwa tumuuza leo inakuwa zawadi kwake na na huyo nampiga sarudi tunanasema huyo ni big spender kunishinda sawa so, sawa so, ladies and gentlemen huyo amekuwa ni KRG the don himself birthday boy akitupatia pale exclusive yes SPM buzz back to the studio Yes, 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 yes,